Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 302. The problem name is query kth smallest trimmed number. Okay, so you are given a zero index array of string nums where each string is of equal length and consists of only digits. Okay, you are also given zero index 2D integer array queries where queries of i equals to ki, comma trim of i. Now for each queries, you need to do these three things. Trim each number in nums to the rightmost trim digits. Okay, so that means just just select the last trim digits. Determine the index of the kth smallest trim number if nums. If two trim numbers are equal, the number with lower index is considered to be smaller. Now reset each number if nums to its original length. Return an array answer of the same length. A square is where answer of i equals to answer uh, answer to the ith query. Note that note to trim uh, to the rightmost k x digits means to keep removing leftmost digits until only x digits are remaining or you can say just pick the rightmost k digits and you are done the string in nums may contain leading zero okay so uh, pretty pretty complex problem statement i totally understand let's just try to uh, jump into the explanation and that will be that will be probably easier to understand okay so let me uh, uh, let me directly write the test case and then probably will 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 be solving it okay so what's uh, the the first the first one is nums is 102 473 right 251 and 8 814 this is nums right this is nums and queries is queries is 1 comma 1 2 comma 3 4 comma 2 1 comma 2 now let's try to dig in what this problem says so just pick this one pick this one it says 1 comma 1 and the first value this one is basically this one is uh, nth smallest number so let's say smallest kth smallest equals to 1 and trim equals to 1 now let's see what what this says this is 251 let me let me just uh, this is 251 now what this says trim equals to 1 means pick up all the numbers present here pick up all these numbers and just pick the last the last trim digits okay so what will what we will get from 102 we'll just pick 2 from 473 we'll just pick 3 from 251 we'll just pick 1 and from 814 we'll just pick 4 okay these are the four numbers that we will get if we select last trim digits now what does the problem say it says find the kth smallest number where k equals to 1 here right the query this one now if you sort it what it will become 1 2 3 4 right it will become 1 2 3 4 now remember the index of this is 0 index of this is 1 index of this is 2 index of this is 3 right now k equals to 1 means find the smallest number what is the smallest number it is 1 and at which position was this number present it was present at index number 2 so you just need to return true 2 sorry return 2 right you just need to return 2 let's take another example to understand this okay this was first example the second is 2 comma 3 now let me just change the color otherwise uh, let's pick the second is 2 comma 3 now again what will be the k smallest k smallest here is 2 that is find the second smallest what is trim here trim is 3 what does trim 3 means pick the last three digits okay pick the last three digits so here the length of the numbers are already 3 that means pick the original list only okay what what the list will be it will be 102 it will be 473 it will be 251 comma 814 right sort it just sort it again this is index 0 this is index 1 this is index 2 this is index 3 sort it it becomes 102 251 473 and 814 right now what it says return the second smallest number what is the second smallest number it's 251 and at which index was it present it was present at index number 2 so again return 2 in this case right so 
तो दिस इज दी जस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वॉट द प्रॉब्लम आस्क अस टू डू राइट नाउ कम्स द क्वेश्चन वॉट वॉट इज द बेसिक ट्रिक इन द प्रॉब्लम दैट 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 वी वी नीड टू सी राइट नो द बेसिक ट्रिक हेयर लाइक देर वर अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स वन थिंग दैट आई फाउंड वॉज द नंबर्स कैन कंटेन लीडिंग जीरो वॉट वॉट डज इट मीन सपोज अ नंबर इज वन टू जीरो 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 समथिंग नाइन राइट सपोज सपोज दिस इज द नंबर नाउ इफ द प्रॉब्लम से इज पिक अप लास्ट फाइव डिजिट्स पिक अप फाइव लास्ट फाइव डिजिट्स सो वॉट आर द लास्ट फाइव डिजिट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वील पिक दिस वन सो इट बिकम जीरो 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 नाइन राइट Now this is in a string format, okay? This is in string format. However, we need to compare the numbers. So actually, if we represent it in the form of a number, it is nine only. It is nine. It is not zero 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 nine nine. So suppose our list is constructed. The list that we were constructing here. Suppose our list is constructed. Now we need to see how we can sort the numbers. So the first thing is that we need to uh, write a comparator. write a comparator which is optimized enough so that first it takes care of the logic this is the logic part that remove the leading zeros so that when you sort it you get the correct value and then you need to compare it in the form of a string now what are the logic of the comparison suppose you are comparing two numbers suppose 9 and 29 you have done all this logic and you get two numbers right so what 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 all comparisons do we need now the first thing can be If the length of these two numbers are not equal, now if the length is not equal, obviously the number having larger length will be a larger number, right? Right. So this is done. Now again, the second condition. So this is case one. Case one is length is not equal. Now what is case two? Case two is length is equal, or rather not length is equal. Numbers are equal. Let me just erase it. Let me let me just erase it and just change the color. Yeah. So, if numbers are equal, right? So what we'll do? Suppose the numbers are nine and nine. So, it the question said that you need to pick up the number. The smaller number will be with the one which is present at a lower index. Suppose this was present present at index number two. This was present at index number five. So this will be a lower number, right? Though the values are same, but when you sort it, place this number before this number in the sorted format. Okay, this is the case two. Now comes the case three, that the length is the length is also equal, right? Here the length was not equal. Here the numbers were equal. Now the length is equal, but the numbers are not equal. So all you need to do is that use the string comparator, which is like str one dot compare to. Right, compare to str two, because suppose you have a number twenty nine and suppose you have a number thirty uh, two, right? So since the length is equal, we'll keep on what what comparator will do? It will keep on comparing from the uh, first character, and as soon as it it finds a mismatch, suppose it was one one, so here both were matching. Suppose it finds a mismatch, it will just return that okay, this number is smaller than this number, and we'll we'll get the sorted numbers, right? So. this this is the this is the logic we need to write this comparator one thing that was giving me tle was i i tried a couple of logics one thing that was giving me tle was that uh, what i was doing is just a second what i was doing i was since the limit was only 100 so i was i was pushing in the numbers in a list in this format suppose the number is 1200009 right so suppose i pick this one so i was uh, Entering this number in the list, and while sorting, I was trimming it. Right. So now, what was happening? When you are sorting, you are encountering this number multiple times, and every time you are traversing the array to to basically trim this number. Right. However, another approach was we can directly trim it and directly enter nine in the list, so that every time when you when the comparator encounters this number, it doesn't it doesn't every time traverses the string. to to remove these initial irrelevant characters right so just do it once i i i'll, I'll explain that uh, in a better way while we look into the code so okay okay so this was the gist of the problem let look in, let's look into the code um so again these all commented code was also accepted but that's a different approach now i'll tell you the easier one i'll tell you the one that that's a smaller code as well <laughs> so 
अगेन ऑनलाइन नंबर थर्टी थर्टी फोर वी हैव स्टार्टेड एंड वी 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 बेसिकली टेक दैट एम इज द नंबर ऑफ क्वेरीज एंड इज द द लेंथ द टोटल नंबर्स दैट वी हैव एंड एंड दैट्स बेसिक स्टफ ओके ना ऑनलाइन नंबर फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी वन वी वी आर टेकिंग दैट हाउ मेनी वॉट आर द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स दैट वी नीड दैट मीन दैट मीन स्ट्रीम एंड द के स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर दैट वी वॉन्ट नाउ द मेन लॉजिक इज प्रेजेंट ऑन लाइन नंबर फोर्टी टू वेयर वी आर कॉलिंग अ फंक्शन गेट स्ट्रिंग इन सॉर्टेड ऑर्डर वी आर पासिंग द लिस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स we are passing a trim because trim will tell us that from each string how many characters do you need to pick and then sort it right let's come to the core function uh, on line number 3 uh, we we have this function now what we are doing is from line number 6 you can see we have a list of pair of a string and integer now why why have taken string and integer a string is basically the new strings that you get after you trim it right an integer is the index is the index where that particular number was present that that particular number which is is in string format was present because because we need to return the index in our file and also right so now what we do on line number 7 we start traversing it and we we take the substring uh, now if we get a length of so here from here we have passed trim so suppose we need last three characters so we have received that okay we need last three characters that is represented by len and now what we do we we calculate the substring norms of i on line number 8 uh, dot substring initial length that is the original length of the string minus len that means how many characters do we need so we pick up the last uh, last those characters now on line number 9 to line number 14 15 i was telling you this thing that while you are entering that into the pair na then only you basically trim it remove the irrelevant initial zeros so that's what we have done while while the string builder has a length of greater than 0 if the first character is 0 just delete it keep on doing this until you find a non zero characters and then add it into the pair where you are adding this particular string sorry you are adding this particular string comma the index at which this string was present so that is i right now the final final logic um, we need to sort the strings so collections dot sort uh, pick up these two a and b now a and b are pair so we need to extract the strings out of those so how will extract the strings it will be a dot get key and b dot get key now on line number 23 we have the first comparison that if both the lengths are not equal so that means the number with the smaller length will be smaller right on line number 26 we have the second logic if both the numbers are equal sorry if both the numbers are equal then obviously return uh, return the number which have the smaller index like basically place it um, at a, at a, in a, at a uh, smaller position right so a dot get value minus b dot get value and finally uh, on line number 29 return x dot two string dot compare to y dot two string right because this will sort internally uh, by comparing each and every digit right so uh, we come to line number 42 we get a list of sorted string now answer of i equals to list dot k smallest minus 1 because suppose we needed the first smallest number so that means you need the smallest number right and we have zero based indexing so that's why Uh, k smallest minus one dot get value because get value has the index right so this was the main logic uh, the the second logic that I used what I I'll just tell you uh, I was thinking that what we can do is that for each possible length let's pre compute the uh, sorted list right uh, like for example if trim equals to three right so in the in this logic what we are doing when we get a trim then only we process these strings so suppose we get trim five times so what we are doing in this we are Uh, every time computing these strings and then we are sorting it however another way could be that you know that okay all these strings if they have length of 3 this is the list of string just sort it just sort it do it once now as soon as now when you keep on receiving the queries you already have that for length 3 this is the smallest number this is the second smallest this is the third smallest so what you can do you can directly return it so i'll just show you what i did uh, it was on line number mm, Yeah, on line number forty-seven, you can see I've taken a map where key is integer and value is list of pair of string comma integer. Now list of pair of string and integer, we took it in the original solution as well. Here the key integer means that okay, if this is the length, this is the sorted list, right? We do it, and finally what I was doing on line number ninety-six, you can see uh, on line number ninety-six what I was doing. We already have that computed. So as soon as you get the trim value. From the map, extract the trim value, and then answer of i equals to list of get k of smallest of i uh, k of smallest minus one dot get value because you have everything in sorted format, right? So these were the two approaches that I was following. Um, so I I hope you learn something new from this video. Please do support it by giving a thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel, 
and also add any queries if you have in the comments i'll try to resolve each one of them uh yeah take care bye bye